Our cross-section of Ndibu has condemned the recent declaration by the Nigeria Defense Authority on the indigenous people of Biafra as a militant terrorist group and subsequent prescription of the group by the Southeast governors. The action, it said, is a ploy by the government to exterminate a major tribe of Nigeria for selfish gain. The leaders warned those instigating undue tension in the minds of the citizenry, saying EPOB does not pose a threat to the country. Do we have complaints of those who, you know, who allegedly, you know, were extorted? So the federal government should look for some other reasons, you know, for, to justify what they're doing. And not to say that an organization whose legal status is still the subject of a judicial inquiry is now being branded, is now being categorized as a militant terrorist organization. Okay, um, in as much as... Um some people feel shocked, appalled, and they're disappointed by such um, a pronouncement by, by the defense headquarters. Uh, the people like us who have the technical knowledge or expertise with respect to security matters and the law uh, know clearly that um, such a pronouncement does not hold water. The call on government to reverse its statement saying Ndibo is not worrying against any tribe or government of Nigeria. The Ibo leaders also called on the Nigerian government to eschew sectional favoritism, saying they should engage the leaders of EPOP and other sectional groups of the country in a roundtable discussion to provide a solution to Nigeria's incessant ethno-religious agitations. What the government should have done in such a situation is to engage the proponents of the ideals of the Afra, Niger Delta, Arewa Uprising, Afenifere, Middle Belt Congress. What they are saying in essence is that there is general discontentment in the society. So what the government should do is to make sure that the citizenry is engaged. Military has no business in policing public assemblies all over the world. Military has no business. Even there in the Constitution, Section 217 and Section 218, it clearly spelled out condition under which military can be called in. For instance, if there is an internal um, armed installation, Mutuni, uh, a state of war, whether internal or external. Only time would tell if the Nigeria Defense Declaration and the Southeast Governor's prescription would douse what was regarded as near tension on the streets of the Southeast of Nigeria.